Hi there, Amy Sterling here with Flywire. Today I'm going to show how to use Flywire as an interactive visualization resource in conjunction with Codex, the Connectome Data Explorer. Um, so you can use Codex to find your cells and look at their connectivity, um, and then you can use Flywire to build interactive visualizations of those neurons. So spacebar to full screen this, A to hide the axis. I'm in the production data set, so make sure you choose the right data set. I'm going to load the layers. I'm also going to put the brain mesh on because it's kind of helpful to see the neurons within the context of the whole brain. And I'm going to nuke those default seg IDs. So let's search for um, ELPN neuron. They're not going to have an overwhelming amount of connections. I'm going to pop this seg ID, sort of unique identifier for uh, every neuron in the data set directly within Flywire. And I'm going to go back to Codex to the cell info page, and we're just going to load the upstream and downstream partners of this neuron. So copy the upstream IDs. I, there's our neuron. It's loaded up. I'm going to hide this start, this uh, this first mesh, and paste these other ones in. So you know, Flywire is built on top of NeuroGlancer, which has the behavior of randomly assigning a color to new seg IDs that are added, um, which that can be helpful if you're trying to tell cells apart, but um, now that you know we're to a point where proofreading is pretty much you know complete at least for a first version of the whole fly connectome, it can be really helpful to actually try to see what's similar about cells or to you know differentiate um, you know subtypes of neurons etc. And for this color can be a really helpful tool, just visually identifying the the cells different from one another, right? So I'm going to go to this plugin developed by Christoph Crook, um, and I'm going to hit change color for all visible IDs. And we'll turn these this blue color and I can toggle on our original cell and immediately you can just begin to see uh, I'll toggle off the brain mesh because it does kind of change the, the 3D navigation structure but you can immediately begin to see um, where the connections are of this neuron to its upstream partners and we can go let's go a step further huh let's add Let's see if it can handle all 136 downstream matches. Uh, it'll Codex will let you copy the IDs if it's below a certain threshold. I don't really know exactly what that threshold is, but uh, it's lower than 136. All right, so let's go back to Flywire, and we'll hide these IDs and load in a new set of them. Uh, there may be a little bit of overlap right between up and downstream, but you can always manually recolor uh, these neurons uh, using this little box here. So let's again go to change color for all visible IDs. We'll make these like a light purple color and then I'm going to toggle all the meshes back on and you will begin to see how easy it is to use Flywire to make these color-coded visualizations of your neurons. Um, I'll drop a link to this plugin, this bulk recoloring plugin from Christoph, um, as well as a link to uh, a summary blog post that highlights all the different add-ons that are available for Flywire. These are just GUI tools that you can use without having to code Python um, in order to improve the, your Flywire experience, and, and particularly to build um, better interactive visualizations of your neurons. So I'll just close by saying thank you so much for all of the work that you put in to make this community Connectome resource available. Um, I think over 60 or 70,000 neurons now have tags from the community. You know, there's still a lot more to go, but um, more are being added every day and they're updating in real time into Codex. Um, so thank you so much. And also please let us know what other videos you'd like to see, um, what other things you'd like to know how to do um, in Flywire or in Codex. And as always, let us know what features you would like to be added to Codex because it is under development. So thank you so much. Have a good one.